jobs this morning our first job was a massive pain in the ass because the boys had stacked them all different and uh, you would have thought they'd just like put like 10 in a bundle or whatever no some bundles had like three in and some bundles had five or six I don't know. oh well we finally done that and they were literally going around the corner they, they were around the corner I don't even think I'd done a hundred yards to take them back to where they were going. So I picked this 21 up, um, which got a zero swing on it. Um, I find it really peculiar, because you're constantly watching behind you, normally with the 21s anyway. Because you don't see a lot of uh, zero sing, zero sing, zing zing, zero swing 21 tonners. So yeah, mate, you can move over because you're not overtaking anything. You plant pot. Why do people just sit in the outside lane? I will never know. Um, um, I'm catching up to him now, and I'm still just below the speed limit of 50. Why? Well, that's all right. I'll sit there like a pleb. Um, I've got my train of thought. Yeah, so you don't see a lot of 21 tonners with zero swings. Swings, swing. <laughs> oh, we'll get it in the end. So we take this back to the hire company. We are going to pick up another one from the hire company. That's going to one of our sites. We have two little ones to pick up, two little three-ton machines, and that's us done. And I'm hoping I can um, get back to the yard with enough light so I can have a play with the new machine. That's if I can. And because uh, I didn't have a chance to play with it, seeing that my boss put it straight to work. Actually, my boss took it home to play with it. Literally took it home. So he was up on the farm playing with it all weekend. So nobody else could play with a new machine. How dare he? Just because it's got his name on it, 
doesn't mean he can do that type of thing. Yeah, it does really, doesn't it? So, yeah, fair play. I can't argue with that, can I? So, yeah, if we got time, we'll have a little look at that later. Which I'd like to. I really want to play with it. Well, not play with it, but, you know. Oh, he broke me down. I'm hoping this week's going to be a bit better. Last week was, well, it, it was pants. Last week was just pants. That car is still sat in the outside lane, probably um, three quarters of a mile behind me. And everything's just gone around him. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we, we're definitely hoping for a bit of a better week this week. It's not often it goes that quiet, but it just seems to have. We're in a bit of a lull. Um, we've got a couple of jobs coming to an end. And we're waiting for the new jobs to start, which happens every couple of months. It's just the way it is. Um, and yesterday, I was, <laughs> I was in the sweeper all day yesterday, didn't he? The boy who was, uh, normally drives a sweeper, he wasn't in, so I was in it all day, which I find incredibly boring. I really do find it boring. It's an easy, nice job, but I, no, it's not for me. Like I said, I, I suffer toddler syndrome. All right, we're gonna drop this off and I'll get going. Oh, Britain Ferry. God, we used to do coils out there years ago. I sound like a pensioner, don't I, some days? Let me show you this man. All right, this is a cool man. He's always happy. He's always smiling. Happy smiley worker. So it's the Alzheimer's. He'll chill out in a minute. Long Tom. Call him Long Tom because he's about nine foot tall. Right, this one's coming off. I'm gonna pick up a three tonner. Introducing Long Tom. Long Tom. Working away like a little soldier. Bless him. We scoop the dirt. We throw the dirt.
bit of a disappointment really, wasn't it, that? Um, I was hoping to get back this afternoon. Because I don't know if you noticed, this is the next day. Um, I was hoping to get back this afternoon and show you the new machine. It didn't happen, didn't have time to unfortunately, because it's now going straight out on site. So, um, whatever little bit I managed to get just then, that is it, that's all we got I'm afraid. It's a very, very strange thing to operate though. Uh, the control panels is like holding two lamp armors, the, the, the old uh, controls. But a bit of getting used to that will take me a lot of getting used to. And, uh, yeah, I want to show because there's different, um, completely different controls. There's three buttons just to rotate there, tilt there, and open and close the, the fingers on the back. And I'm not very good on it, as you can clearly see. Or, well, might have, I don't know. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, takes them to it. I've seen people operate them on um, like YouTube and stuff like that and wow they make it look very easily, easily, very easy. Let me tell you now, it's not, it's bloody hard work. Um, I should have took the packet off, it would have been easier to do what I had to do. Uh, yeah, um, apologies for that then, that sucks really, really does suck. We put it by the office having photos taken and everything ready for uh, to go on the website, Facebook and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I loaded it up here and then shot off is easier. Because we've got one hour and 15 minutes to get down to uh, the site in Swansea in Buddyport. Um, it's going to be tight. I don't think they're going to be very happy with me anyway, that's for sure. But boss man said go, I go. Let, uh, let, him, let the grown-ups argue the toss on uh, the rest of it. Yeah, I've had a busy little morning. But the um, plan was to show you the new machine, but it didn't happen. So, so my... Uh, Go in like the clappers to get back. Backfired spectacularly. So we're gonna run this down here for today. That'll be it. Um tomorrow. I'm not sure what's happening tomorrow actually. I, I generally don't know what's going on. I think I got a 21 to deliver, which is going back to the the place I dropped one off the other day because I dropped it off and then picked it back up. I think it was like uh, two days later. Not sure why, but that is what happened. Yeah, so uh, we'll drop this off down in uh, Buddyport, straight to work. The new driver will be rather excited. In fact, you'll be ecstatic. We're going to pick up the other 14 ton machine to come back. And that'll be us. What the blinking heck's going on over there? People running around chasing horses in that field. Yeah, yeah. The sun's out, it's glorious, it's really beautiful day. It's a little bit, getting a little bit cold, but it's beautiful. No rain, no wind, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Anyway, to my report. <laughs> Today is a um, shit day. I thought I'd have a nice easy day today, up and down the landfill site from Cardiff. It's not happening. I've got a problem with my scales that I don't want to work. Um, I've now got one times flat tyre. One times. No, we haven't. We have two. Two. Two flat tyres. <sighs> Yay! 
You know, some days you think I should have just stayed in bed. Oh, and the other thing is, my truck's been on a regen for the last hour and something, and it's just not having none of it. <sighs> Shouldn't try to do things with one hand. <sighs> oh well. It is what it is, and you can't do a lot about it. Well, anyway, let's get this done. See if we can get it through to last me the day instead of getting the tire fitters out. Ugh. Airline, vital piece of kit. If it just gets you through the day, that's all that matters. Yeah, they put it on properly. Oh. It's all good fun, people. It's all good fun. So, screw us on the air tank. Pop out on here. It's just a fun filled day today. It's a fun filled day. Just one of them days I should have um, just stayed in bed. Should have stayed in bed. Come on, you bugger, drop. Thank you. Minus one this morning. You've got, to, you've got to love this job. You've got to. You really have. I, I washed the truck yesterday as well. Quick kick test. Oh, a bit more yet. You've got to be able to just only gently flex it, not give it a good, you know. That's the key to pumping tyres up when you haven't got a, a gauge. <laughs> oh. I don't want to play. It's Friday as well. The week's been pretty good this week. I was on, um, on the crusher all day yesterday. I washed the truck in the morning. I thought, oh, you know, nice and clean and tidy. 
ended up on a 21 tonner on the crusher which didn't actually have anything to do yesterday and then I ended up here today now back for a landfill site with two flat tyres oh well big test oh that looks good to me so how do you know when your tyres up well it's not flat at the bottom anymore that's my um, secret to that one there is no other secrets that's just the way it is as long as it's not flat at the bottom it works <laughs> two flat tires though two flat tires unbelievable well not flat but punctured i'm glad it's friday i'm glad wash this track from spotless Uh, I won't say it. I was going to, but I won't. I was going to, but I won't. I had nice shiny wheels and everything. Oh well. Get on with it, I suppose. It's a bit cool. Minus one. It's like another world when you come up here, aye? Right? Beautiful blue skies down in Cardiff. Start to climb up above uh, uh, the um, up above Dowlice now, the open cast is, and it's just I like, can't see land in front of your face. But when we get on the top up ahead, now it's all clear. It's a big pull. It's a big old pull up here. Come on, girl. So I've had my little 10 minute sulk about my tyres, about my truck getting dirty, about my axle not working. Yeah, no, I'm just a general. Back in the truck, happy as a sandboy again. What's the, uh, you know, what's the day without a bit of a sulk? Yeah, minus one. Ugh. Well, the sun is trying to burn through, which is what we want. If I had a chance to stop and turn the camera around up atop of you, you'll see it's like a big thick layer of fog that sits down in between the valleys. It's really cool, especially if you can sit on top and look at it. Probably all be gone now by the time we come out of the tip. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice old little uh, nice thing to see. It's right clear now, look. Oof, that sun is bright. Come on. I've had weeks of pouring rain, it's nice to have a bit of sunshine. It's cold, but I don't mind the cold. As long as I haven't got gale force winds, I don't mind. Um, I might be able to see it actually up to the left now. Nah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, well. MK Barnsley's. DK Barnsley, sorry. Look at that! Well, hey, we are super duper. It's Friday. There's Jamie. Last Jamie. Do your lights work? Yay! Jamie's lights work. I, I can look in the mirror. I can see the layer of fog sitting over the valleys. I would like to show it to you. I have to try and get the old drone up. I've not had that up for a while because the weather's been so bad. Wouldn't mind getting that up. Language, Timothy. Oh, we, we, uh, looks a bit busy here today, people. Looks a bit busy. Oh, we could be here some time. 
One, two, three. Oh, well, it's four week, didn't know. Look out. Oh well, never mind. Feet up. Get it, man. A swamp. So glad I scrubbed the lorry yesterday. For absolutely nothing. For nothing. We've got to come back up this way as well because they're repairing the road that goes across. Brilliant. Banging on the back here, I don't know what that is. Best we have a look when we stop. Oh. That don't sound good, people. <sighs> Balls. I have been here an hour. Where are you going? What was it? Are you still in this way today? Um, yeah. I'm going to drop the radio. Well, don't just try it again. We have been here over an hour. And there was only four lorries in front of me when I got here. Um, they're now queuing. Uh, all, okay. all the way down the ramp. <laughs> oh, God. But, I am next. Hello? Work it out. When next is, yeah. I don't know. Shut up. Come on, it's embarrassing, man. I've actually nearly nodded off when you sat down. Sun's out. Slight dramas today, have you heard? Oh well, let's have, a, let's have another go then. Tipping up here now. Oh, oh you bath plug. Yeah, it's a silly driver. Where do I go to tip off? It's bedlam. Oh, that didn't sound good. What was that? No, we're all right. Ah. It's chaos here. I got something banging on the back of the car, but I don't know what it is. I can't see it either. The tip up here, so let's have a look. Oh, it's pandemonium here. Come on, Thomas, where are we going? Remember my mystery noise? I found what my mystery noise was. You're gonna love this one. You're gonna love this one. So, I thought it was the A kit. Something loose, you know. Nope, it's not the A kit. Everything's solid. It's that. A boat there. For some reasons come undone. Mm. That's not good, is it? But do you want to see the best bit? Where it's down to the back of the cab. That bolt has come loose, I've just pushed it back in and it's done all that with the back of the cab. Why the 
fuck would you put a bolt like that? Wow. Just managed to wedge that in, but I'm going to have to go and get it cut off. You have to jack a cab up, otherwise, to take it out. Unbelievable. Well done, Volvo. That's just um, outstanding. Why would you put bolts going inwards? So it's just completely wrecked the back of the cab. I'm going to have to get it cut out because that's just going to pierce the back of the cab otherwise. And I haven't got nothing to cut it out with. I am really pissed off. Oh, I love my job. I love my job. Just gotta keep telling yourself. You love your job, Ross. You love your job. That's what you gotta keep telling yourself. Every day, you gotta say those magical words of "I love my job." Right. Ah, let's get the cab over. Do -do. like off now. Let me put you down buddy, it'd be easier. Definitely not as fit as I used to be. Big arms for the summer. Push. That will do. Put them in that way, you wouldn't have that problem. A glove. Um. <gasps> that don't make sense. Right, what size is that? Like right, 15. That's a 15, yeah. And that should be a 14. That is a 14. Be 
anyway then. Just standard nuts, not um, no locking nuts. Brilliant. Well done, well done. <sighs> Try again, people. Bazinga. Trying to drop this one, Russ. Oh, well done. Yay. 14. Long one. Ah, oh, just not my day today, is it? Not my day. We are fixed. All right, catch the way. Wait for the click. You should drop. Keep going. Push. She is done. Pull that one away. The only thing I like about Volvo's is that. Apart from the rest of it, I'm not a fan. Uh, 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 like Scania, now I think if I remember it, Leah's are under the, um, under the side locker. But come on, you bugger, get under there. So, right, yeah, um, but if the bolts were that way instead, they never would have touched the cab. So, big thumbs up, Volvo. Check that down. Right, right we'll drop this trailer off, pick up the low loader. Because we got to go to um, pick up the 14 tonner. Down in uh, Burryport. No, Burryport. No, 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 no. Gowerton, Swansea. No. Right. Ah. I show you a cool trick. You'll like this trick. I like this trick. Anyway, watch this now. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, I like that. Simple things, people. Simple things. It's not having a very good day, are we? It's all going wrong, massively. But this afternoon will go nice, nicely. No problems. All straightforward now. I will say if you've got a jack a cab over, make sure you put everything away. The last thing you want is something coming through the windscreen because that will really upset your boss. I have seen that happen so many times, it's unbelievable. I've seen cookers, fridges, uh, people's kettles, uh, sports bags go straight through the screen. Well, not straight through, but smashed all the windscreen. And I remember when I first started driving, the first company I worked for, um, I was doing, uh, oh, I was doing containers. And I come back into the yard, it was a Saturday morning, and our um, transport manager slash fitter slash emergency driver was um, doing one of the lorries out the back, and he was complaining about um, somebody left something on a bunk they put the cab over and gone through the windscreen. So he's there jacking up another lorry up. He's, you know, he's not in a very good mood. He's absolutely raging. 
uh, screaming, I've had enough of this, all I gotta keep doing is make, fixing your mistakes, all this and that. And as he's jacking the cab up, the cab slightly goes forward. On the last little bit, it just kind of flops. Um, yeah, boosh, telly, straight through the window. I heard the noise, realised what it was, quietly turned around and walked away. He was absolutely livid. Yeah, and uh, things like things behind people, people put things behind the seats, forget about it, like a bottle of squash, water, whatever. Straight through. Yeah, and, uh, I walked away, um, got around the corner, and then laughed. I weren't brave enough to laugh in front of him, so I think he could have folded me up and uh, shoved me in a skip. Uh, yeah, a long time ago. I, I learned a lot there. I learned a lot of things you shouldn't learn. It was all part of the learning curve, I suppose. That um, ain't too much damage on the back of the cab, so it can be repaired. But just, just such a stupid thing, stupid, stupid thing to have. I always try my best not to uh, damage a track, always. And then something like that happens. Uh, it's Friday, the sun's out, we're on our merry little way. Um, we're going to pick up a 14 tonner out of Gowerton, where we was the other day. Then back into the steelworks, I'm going to pick up a fuel cell, uh, and that's, that's done. So. Shouldn't be too bad today. Shouldn't be too bad. We're just open now, no, we have no problems. When it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Um, it's absolutely beautiful coming down here, and just coming around the back of uh, Glynnis Bank. It's lovely. I would move you, but I can't. Ah, you're fixed. Yes, yeah, so we'll pick this up. And now, yes, really. Ready for the weekend. Oh, God. I'll be glad for the weekend. No, I won't. I'll go out tomorrow. Don't! With my jolly boys out there. Alright, well, let's get this on and. Uh, Back here again. Ah, oh. what a 
I'll see you up to it. On with here. Oh well. <laughs> ah, tail lifts open. That's why you shot round him to let him know. Ah, fair play to him. Ah, oh, can we catch the gate in time? Can we? And... Ha ha! Yes! How devilish is that? I did kind of put it in reverse ready to go back. Yeah. It's getting a bit foggy coming in off the seafront. Ah, you with the tip of this morning and now back with the law order. I'll pick up a um, fuel cell, so fuel bozo, whatever you want to call them. Oh, it stinks in you today. It's extra stinky, yeah? Stinky! Smells of um, sulfur. When we was doing that um, job in the other couple of weeks back, I forgot how bad um, this stuff is to get off your truck when you wash it. It's in, it just sets like concrete. I thought, uh, generally I'd forgotten how bad it was. It took me weeks to get the truck scrubbed again. And I didn't realise how much had gone up underneath. So we're going to tiptoe through here today, nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. Should be straight in, straight out. Don't need nothing to load us because we already got a machine on the back of us. Coming here this morning, there was a big pile of stuff literally across that entrance. Well done. There's the fuel cell. Jobs are good at. Huh? 